welcome. We're here to talk about Open Edge database monitoring. You need more than a VST browser. So in this session, we're going to talk about some of the thinking behind creating an Open Edge monitoring tool and why you cannot simply point a generic tool to the Open Edge VSTs with some simple SQL queries. We're going to show you how we've incorporated these techniques into ProTop and how you can take advantage of some of the lessons we've learned along the way and hopefully benefit from that. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Tom Bascom. I've been a progress user and a roaming DBA since 1987. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I'm a curmudgeon here at uh, White Star Software, where we provide expert consulting services related to all aspects of progress in Open Edge. So our premise is that you need a little bit more than just a VST browser. You can't just point some SQL queries at OpenEdge and hope for it to work. Instead, you need something a little bit more customized. So we provide a tool called ProTop. ProTop is our tool for monitoring and bringing uh, alerts to you about your OpenEdge database. The top in ProTop is all about bringing the most important information to your information without making you go hunting for it. So we've tried to organize things and bring it to you in the uh, cleanest manner that we possibly can. Now to do that, in spite of the title of the talk, ProTop does get a lot of information from VSTs, but there's a lot more to it than just echoing what the VSTs show you. This is a list of some of the VSTs that we use. It's a partial list. The list changes as things are added. Things have even been removed from the VSTs. When progress moved to uh, Open Edge 12, a couple of things were taken away. But, you know, there are quite a few of them. There's a, there's a lot of data here. There are some notable differences between what is a, a virtual system table and what is a metaschema table. The virtual system tables are a representation of internal data that's held in shared memory. So they're only available when a server is running. If you start a single user session or do a read-only connection to your database, you don't see the VSTs because they're not persistent. There's no uh, on-disk representation of them. They're all in memory. Another way that you can tell that something is a VST is because it has an ID field. So the first field in the table will be an ID, and that is the only indexed field. So if you try to access the VSTs by some criteria other than the ID, that can be really painful particularly for things that have a lot of entries like the uh, underbar lock VST. You don't want to try to go through that uh, with a where clause that uses something other than the ID. Along with the VSTs, we often spend time joining to the uh, metaschema tables so that you can enrich the data into a more user-friendly presentation. Most of the content in the metaschema tables is fairly static. They don't change all that often, uh, particularly when you're up and running. You can make online changes, you can add files, you can add fields, you can do things like that. You can add extents online and so on and so forth, but still it's fairly rare. Most of that data is pretty static. You can uh, check it periodically. You don't have to keep on top of it every uh, 10 seconds or anything like that. And because they're so frequently referenced, it's a good idea to cache them. So you can cache them in temp tables to avoid excessive uh, reads of the meta schema. If you do create a cache like that, it's a really good idea to build that temp table cache with better indexes than the real meta schema, because the real meta schema has perhaps politely called terrible indexes. So ProTop has already done the work for you. So why reinvent the wheel? Go out and download ProTop, check it out, uh, have some fun with it. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, you can look at quite a bit of the code if you uh, are curious about how things work. Uh, we provide that uh, for people if they're interested in that kind of thing.